All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Today, our topic is about uh, politics. Um, uh, I receive a question from one of you speaking. Uh, let me be sure that the microphone. Sorry for that. All right, uh, I apologize. The microphone was a little bit uh, far away. Uh, one of you asked me about what's going on in Jordan and if I can make a comment about it. Uh, you know, Jordan uh, as a country is mentioned, uh, or let us say the land of Jordan is mentioned in the Bible as, we, as, as you remember the, the river of Jordan. So this is a very connected land to the Holy Land. But in the same time, this land is very poor, extremely, extremely poor. Let us say, uh, this country is one of the unlucky countries uh, when it's come to source. This country is suffering from lack of water, lack of energy, lack of vegetation, lack of everything. And when you rule a country, have nothing, then how you can survive it and how you can stay a king in such a country. You see, many people do not know that all the royal families in the Middle East are the maid of the British intelligence. All of them, they are not royal. All of them, they are corrupt. All of them, they call themselves kings and princes, but not even one of them was or used to be a prince or a king. Not like in Europe, like let us say the royal family in England, they are royals through centuries, you know, like kings after kings. Those are the maid of the intelligence of Her Majesty the Queen. Let us make it simple. It was the previous king of England is the one who made all those kings kings. Uh, just to go back on time a little bit to give you an idea before we start talking about this Jordan or the King of Jordan. This is this is what it's called Jordan. But before, if we go just uh, you know um, 60, 70 years ago, we will learn that the bridge they brought from Saudi Arabia, a man his name, the Honorable Hussein. The Honorable Hussein is called this way because he claimed to be from the family of Muhammad. And supposedly, if you are from the family of Muhammad, you are honorable. However, according to the Quran and all Islamic source, Muhammad have no family left. And he have no children. However, they claim that they are descendant from Muhammad and they are from Mecca. In other way, they are from the tribe of Quraysh. So the British intelligence, they were looking for somebody, they can make him a leader in order to shrink the authority of the Turkish. The Turkish, they were occupying many areas like Syria, most of Iraq, Jordan, controlling let us say by name Egypt and a little bit of you know the borders close to Saudi Arabia and not to mention the empire of Turkey expanded very big in Europe but after the Turkish closed the war and the 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 European they were looking for a solution how they can kick the Turkish out of the Middle East without them fighting them directly and it was a very successful smart plan so they came to Mecca, and here we are talking about Her Majesty, the Queen Intelligence. They came to Mecca, and they got a guy, his name is Sharif Hussein. This man, Hussein, he claimed, as we said, to be from the family of Muhammad. So they sponsor him, and they made him a leader for what it's called the Arab Revolution. And then they, the, the British intelligence, they sponsor him with arm and weapon, 
and they arm whoever want to support him and the Turkish already they were very weak because they lost the war and they are suffering from the consequence of war so the the uh, the Sharif Hussein he came all the way from Saudi Arabia all the way and they took him all the way even to Jerusalem now there is many stories you can read about it we, we don't want to make it uh, uh, too much big uh, you know he came like a victorious person who freed the Arab from the Turkish and etc but all of this scam is nothing but an appearance what is behind is it was the bridge who taken over this man he have a three sons the three sons he made them kings for sure after the bridge people they made him a king so he gave one king the chair of Iraq one king the chair of Syria and one king the chair of Jordan the one in Syria his kingdom demolished the Syrian they kicked his ass the one in Iraq it was the same story they were weak they have no sponsor um, nobody like them they are foreigners they are strangers coming to rule our country so what if you are from the what it's called the seed of Muhammad so they did not survive there then what is left is the chair of Jordan the reason the chair of Jordan survive because the British intelligence and after that the Israeli they wanted to have a stable neighbor who is corrupt now I'm sure some of them might say oh you know speaking against Israel no I'm not speaking against Israel Israel do what is best for its own purpose this is politics and politics is dirty the family of uh, what it's called a Sharif Hussein are very corrupt all the way to the bones and that is perfect person to be ruling Jordan through time Jordan was what it's called a friend or a closer friend to USA now are they really friends no but those people they need to survive they have no money they have no wealth they have no power they have no army they have nothing absolutely nothing the only thing they have is a strategic location next to Israel to make it simple because of Israel the king of Jordan still the king of Jordan all this time and starting from the father to the grand to the son to the grandson etc now if we look at the news we find that in Jordan there is a big movement against the government but is it really against the government uh, you see this country is a police country which means you can talk about anyone anything except the king he is like Allah actually in Jordan you can curse Allah you can say the F word to Allah and you will be fine you will sleep at home but if you say the F word to the king you and your family will disappear because he is a very democratic you know and he tried to present himself that he is a person who wears suit he is the person who is a modern king and he is the one who makes speeches about all oh, the world in misunderstood Islam and all this garbage you know he's a very corrupt liar all this family all of them they graduate from the military schools in the UK until now even the son of this king who is supposed is going to be the, who is the crown prince he graduated just two years ago from the military school in England and that is to confirm that they are let us say still under the command of England just to mention that the mother of this person the king of Jordan she is even British women so their relationship with the British is very old and they cannot survive without them now what's happening have nothing to do with the bridge because the bridge cannot help them no more they can help them in intelligence they can help them to see if there's any plan against the king uh, etc 
but what's happening now is far beyond the ability and the power of this man and whoever sponsor him to make it simple Israel cannot help this man now nobody can help him except somebody have a lot of money people in Jordan same as all people in the Middle East as long they have food in their table and they are eat they eat rice and shish kebab and hummus they don't really care you know and you know the king he is from the family of the prophet that's a great i mean yes, yes he's a corrupt they knew that yes he's a liar i mean pff, this is how the, the whole middle east run yes he is a cia agent even his brother he is <laughs> he's officially a cia agent uh, yes 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 but at least uh, you know they knew that if not this corrupt king their country bankrupt from long time ago so what is holding this country Jordan together is the money of Israel and the business with Israel and the donation of USA and some other European countries who they have interest but now things is not doing good money is not enough population is increasing and what he used to receive before is not enough he was trying to survive by the Syrian refugee you know uh, this is scam king what he do like he let us say he beg for money for we have a million refugee from Syria so European Union they send him hundreds of millions of dollars uh, every year to sponsor the refugee but the fact he spent the money on his own government because he have no money and the refugees got nothing now this country who has no water electricity is not good there's no jobs there's no money there's no oil there's no gas there's you know even food after long history of playing games with everybody because those corrupt royal family if they call themselves royal as i said they have no friends if you remember when when the war happened in the gulf between kuwait and saddam hussein the father of this man, the corrupt uh, King Hussein, he took the side of Saddam Hussein for very simple reasons. Saddam Hussein promised him that he will give him as much oil as he wish, almost for free. And this king, who have no money, who is corrupt, he could not resist the temptation, so he took the side of Saddam Hussein. But by taking the side of Saddam Hussein, Saddam Hussein lost the war. Therefore, all the Gulf countries, they kicked the Jordanian from Saudi Arabia, from Kuwait, from Bahrain, from Emirat, as a punishment for the king of Jordan for his misbehavior and betraying them. Because remember, Saddam Hussein was a person who present kind of a communist regime. It's called Al-Ba'ath Party. And they never expected that somebody is coming from what is called royal family, which means a country have king, to support communists. So uh, he betray though this this family betray all their friends. They have no friends, and because they have no friends, they betray the American when they need. They betray the British when they need. They betray the Israeli when they need. They don't have a friends. This guy, like this guy, is the same as his father. It's the same kind of a snake. They have no friends, and now things is getting so bad. No money, no water, no business, no, 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 no. And the Gulf countries are, they dump them. They don't support them no more. They don't give them visas. You see, before, a huge income of uh, Jordan used to come from the Gulf countries of those who work in Kuwait, in Qatar, in Emirat, a lot of money. They have businesses there, etc. But since the Gulf War, that thing is not really the case. And this country was going down so fast. And uh, uh, now the king of Jordan he claimed it is the government problem not his problem but the fact he is the one who is facing the threat because he replaced the government he got a new government it's the same the government they increase taxes because there's no money I mean we have to increase taxes where would, where the money coming from and here many they will jump right now to try to control the country so we know that there's a competition between Qatar and Saudi Arabia and Emirat 
so the Emirati right away they send one of their ministers to meet with the king of Jordan offering a deal which we do not know yet and mostly the deal is you take our side against the Qatari and we sponsor you with you know with some money the Saudi they are trying to do the same the Qatari they are it's like an auction you know like uh, who want to pay more so the one who will pay more the king of Jordan will vote for him and he will take his side now uh, uh, Jordan is not really important if they take a side or not what is important about that is kind of let us say uh, we increase the network uh, against Qatar uh, so it can't breathe which even even Jordan even Somalia they would not have a relationship with them even uh, you know countries who they are very weak they don't want to have uh, and you know for the Saudi and for the Emirati giving them like a, a 10 billion dollars help for this year would not really be a big deal they have a lot of money but 10 billion dollars for a country like Jordan is a lot of money uh, so now there is there is a kind of uh, negotiation between the king of Jordan to sell his let us say a future political support by auction but I believe that will not help because even if they give him 10 billion dollars now I mean for how long he can survive with it the country is bankrupt uh, if you go in the immigration in Jordan you will not even find a policeman to take your passport because they have a very few number of people the the army is very small very tiny the army is not exist actually the army is just to guard the king family which means it's a it's an army against the people not to protect the country uh, so this this uh, this king if the USA did not help him and the Israeli I believe he will be the last king from the corrupt family of the Prophet Muhammad and that is another reason actually he's like uh, I never saw a person who belonged to Muhammad is not corrupt I mean the son the same as the father so if you are asking me what is going to happen tomorrow I believe things is going to get bigger especially in case you do not know the majority of the population of uh, Jordan are Palestinians even though they try to say no it's not but the fact they are the majority this is why the king of Jordan he did marry a Palestinian woman thinking by doing that he will earn the support of the Palestinian and they will not think of throwing him out the same as they try in the time of his father in the time of his father the Palestinians during the time of Yasser Arafat almost took over Jordan but by the support of Israel he was able to beat them and to control the country again otherwise almost they took over the country for they became the majority and now in case you do not know because the majority of Jordan are Palestinians which is not really Palestinian they are Arab but you know they call themselves Palestinian they're the same uh, and which mean the majority of them they are from Hamas so the king of Jordan have a problem either he take the side of the Saudi and the Emirati which is anti Hamas anti Qatar or he take the side of Qatar which is the the the, the pocket of Hamas you know uh, the prince of Qatar he is a Muslim Brotherhood so if he took the side of the Qatari and this is here Qatar that can help him a lot to control the population for some time because the the, the Muslim Brotherhood they have the the most powerful political parties in Jordan and that will control the population for some time but what about the money is Qatar willing to sponsor him and pay for his salaries and his soldiers and his employees and his people is Qatar willing to feed six seven million people for free just because they are the government the king is taking the side of Qatar that is a big question and I don't think so that's a lot of money that is not 10 billion dollars this is trillions of dollars because you are talking about feeding the whole country who have no future have no businesses they make nothing they do nothing 
you know actually the only money Jordan right now is making is it from tourism all of you you know like uh, there is some famous areas people they go to visit like Petra etc otherwise the country is really have nothing there you know it's a totally a desert area there's no water there's nothing uh, so the future I believe it's very bad imagine in Jordan you cannot even use the toilet seat I mean I'm talking about the water if you go to the bathroom you cannot just flush your water like this because there's no water especially we are talking you know some years even in winter time there's no water like this year they have a lot of rain which would mean they are lucky you know just two weeks ago they have a flood but that flood will not help them much because they don't have really a good system to uh, re restrain the water and save it for the bad time uh, imagine you have a swimming pool but you cannot swim because you cannot fill it up with water if you do they take you to jail because there is no enough water even for the bathroom so you want to fill up a swimming pool with water so the country is suffering from everything they have a lack of everything the country does not have anything and because they are you know let us say you see there is there is a problem we have in the Middle East uh, if the Jews they try to help you in something we think the Jews they want something but with no problem the Jews they want something good for them but what if it is helpful just to give an example all of you you know what it's called the Dead Sea let us search for it here maybe we can find a picture for it the Dead Sea simply is a dead sea there is no water almost there as you see the lady here is standing on the salt all right the water is left is very little and there's it's not livable water there's no fish there's nothing the Israeli they offer the Jordanian to open a tunnel between the Mediterranean Sea and the Dead Sea and if they do that they can generate to Jordan and to Israel billions of dollars saving electricity making electricity because the water will start running from because remember that the sea is lower than the, the sea I mean talking about the Mediterranean so that current of water is going to generate a lot of electricity in the same time that water which is going to increase very good in this Dead Sea and make it make it livable again and having more and more water and the water surface extend big time that will bring rain and that will make irrigation and farming very much possible if you go to israel you will see how much the the, the israeli are successful to turn the desert into heaven so why the desert of the jews are like heaven but the desert of the arab is not very simple reason there's people who use their intelligence and there is you people who are depending on what's called Allah you see if you go in the Middle East there is something very much they do they keep saying inshallah inshallah which means uh, Allah is willing and Allah never will Allah doesn't exist Allah do nothing inshallah okay when you are going to have electricity inshallah tomorrow when we are going to have a new uh, school inshallah tomorrow when we are going to make jobs for people inshallah everything is inshallah the whole world there is running by inshallah so when the jews they try to help the jordanian and their help is real the jews are suspicious to the muslims ah the jews want to help us uh -huh. <laughs> The Jew, you know, the Muslims always they try to, to produce the Jewish person as a person would have, you know, you know how the the, the witch is in a, in the in that like funny fairy tale stories. If you watch any movie in Ramadan, you will find a Christian person or a Jewish person in that movie. He have a long nose, and it's like his nose is have an edge, like an eagle, like a witch. You know what I mean? So they try to present them always in such a way to the point now when you speak to any Muslim. He can't imagine a Jew don't have that nose, you know. And because of that, uh, whatever the Jews, no, no, my Skype is not open. I'm not going to take calls now. This is not about, you know, we are talking about politics. I don't want to talk about anything. 
because of that, if the Jews they try to help, then they accuse them of something fishy. If the King of Jordan agree to open the tunnel between the Mediterranean and the Dead Sea, everything we see right now is going to be different because that will bring a lot of tourism. That will bring a fishing industry. They can grow fish again. That will bring uh, tourism, hotels, five stars, seven stars, you name it. And that can bring uh, irrigation, farming, because the more water you bring into in that desert inside Jordan, the more rain will happen because, you know, it's hot. Water simply have a very, is, uh, like a, a logic uh, system it work with, you know, the, the water will uh, become a steam and the steam will come a cloud and the cloud will bring water again as rain. But because of the lack of intelligence and because they don't want to do anything with Israel because of their hatred. Now they are in trouble, you know? And uh, uh, that will not change. I mean, even, even if now, if they agree to do it, that will take a few years before they can fix this issue. This is a dead land, literally. If you drive in Jordan, you drive for hours, you see nothing but yellow dust no trees now somebody will say to you no i went to amman it was green uh, there was uh, some locations they are like they have some trees yes but generally speaking jordan we can say maybe 93 percent of jordan is total desert three percent of the country have some greenery is nothing and cannot even feed the country in any way in any mean so the future is very bad, and that because the lack of uh, 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 planning, because of a corrupt king, who all about he, what he think about how to stay as a king and how to save more money in case something happened abroad. I assure you that this king, he have a lot of money in Switzerland, but there's no money in his government pocket. For all of them, they are the same. I never saw any government in uh, uh, oh, there is a Muslim is saying to me, afraid. Oh, hold on, I don't want to open really my Skype, but let us see what this guy want to say. I became curious. <laughs> you know, when a Muslim he say this guy Christian is afraid. Yeah, all right, okay. Let me open my Skype, then, my friend. Hold on. I hope you are ready. <clears throat> are you sure you want to call me? Okay, I hope your mom and your dad they agree with this. All right. Let me log in. <coughs> Mr. Hassan, you want to call me, right? All right. And don't make me log in and then you retreat because you got scared. Okay, Hassan, call me. I am on Skype. I'm calling you. Yes, Mr. Saud Hassan, how are you? Hello. Hello, how are you? I'm fine. How are you doing? I'm good. How you wanna? What do you wanna say so, to us, Mr. Saud? And why we are scared of you? Like, uh, I, you are scared of him because uh, doc, uh, the doctrine of the Trinity is a central doctrine, and it has absolutely no support and no biblical evidence. It was made after like three hundred and years, and your whole religion rests on that <laughs> doctrine, which has no logical support, no scriptural evidence. Hmm. So you want to talk about the Trinity? Yeah. All right. That's a good thing, actually. Let me ask you. When you pray as a Muslim, do you say Allahu Akbar three times? No, I'm asking about Trinity. Why are you? I'm asking about Islam? the Trinity too. I'm asking about the Trinity. No, no uh, don't tell me no. I'm asking you. I'm, I'm asking is it true? Is it is it a true wait, when you wait, say wait, when you start wait. a prayer? Listen, listen. Is it true we that are you talking about. This is God? Listen, listen. Don't change the topic. You are the one who said the Trinity. Let us talk about Trinity. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I will be the one to ask. Is it true when you pray you say Allahu Akbar three times? 
I would I should be the one who will be asked you did ask me already <laughs> you did ask me already I'm getting you busted why you say Allahu Akbar three times why you, you say Allahu Akbar? are you going to answer or not Oh, is this is this uh so okay you want me to you want to take my interview or do you want my to have friend my friend are we talking about the inter uh, the trinity yes or no i'm trying to prove to you that you believe in the trinity but you're ignorant otherwise prove me I wrong prove I'm me wrong prove me wrong so why you say allahu akbar three times before you pray allow saying allahu akbar three times doesn't make it doesn't make me give me the then the reason I give me the God. reason it doesn't we, make it it doesn't allow, make a trinity allow, but one, so tell me why God okay tell, tell, me why. tell me why tell me why tell me why god is one so why you say allahu akbar three times that's the tradition of praying so it is it is a stupid tradition you are saying it's, this doesn't have a meaning it's not a no it's not a stupid tradition that, okay that would be stupid okay according did your prophet did your prophet did that in purpose but it wasn't or it was an accident no, it was something told by God. Ah, by God. So why he, Allah, your God, who is one God, he told yeah. you to say Allah Akbar three times. Yeah, I, 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 okay, let me tell you. I, I say the uh, Allah Akbar 32 times after the prayer. So Wh does it why? Mean that there are 32 gods? That is the age of Jesus, my no, friend. No. <laughs> That that, that your point. I that mean, is the I age. Allah, that is the I age of Allah Jesus. You see, you just to prove to me. You just to prove to me that you people are copying Christianity and being stupid. Because why you say 33 times? This is the age of Jesus. We say it 33 times Allah Akbar. We say 33 times Alhamdulillah, and we say 34 times. Why? Uh, MashaAllah. Okay. Why? That is the tradition. Why? That is a, that is our prayer. You have no answer. Okay, then let that us is, let us go. The, okay, the first yeah, question yeah. you could not answer. So, okay, so why if, why if your say, God Allah? Why, why the Quran? Okay, listen, 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 Abdul. To people, Abdul. If I say 32 times Allah Akbar, then this means I have 32 gods. Wow. Abdul. Yes. That's yes. Well, let That's us prove it. Let's prove it. Let's prove it. Okay, that, that was your argument. That was your argument. Why? Okay. Why? Okay, why, on, why you say Bismillah Rahman okay. Rahim? Allah Rahman Rahim. Can you tell me why you say Allah Rahman Rahim? You asked the question, and now it's my time to. I ask am you, right? no, I'm I'm not asking a question. I'm getting you busted. Who said I'm asking a question? This is not a question. I'm getting you busted because we know the answer. You say Allah, oh, yeah, so, Rahman, oh, so Rahim. How you get people busted? Why, why you? Why their question you Muslims? My friend, my friend. No, no, so, you you ask uh, me, I answer you. You know, you know my specialty, right? My specialty is to get Islam busted. And if I quote for you from the Bible, you will say I don't believe in the Bible. No way. So why I want to waste my time? I'm getting you busted. I'm, I'm answering you from your book. Can you tell me why your God no. start the Quran with me, the three names? Can you tell me why do you believe Jesus is hundred percent God? Because God, your God says so too. No, can you tell me why? Jesus I just told is you because God, even your God, because God, because your because your God yes, says so. One God, because your God, God listen, listen, listen. I'm talking to you as a Muslim. You as a Muslim, right? Are you Christian or a Muslim? No, I, uh, you are not a Muslim. No, no, you, you as a Muslim. When I talk to a Muslim. Oh I thought I thought like you will be having a debate with me and you are just my friend my friend my friend I love I love my friend I love curry my friend I love a career I thought I thought I swear by Allah I swear by Allah I thought you are going to have a debate with me listen are we going to have a discussion I'm asking you and you're asking me do you want me to prove to you Trinity or not I'm proving it to you I thought I'm proving I'm proving it to you yes we are I'm not having a debate I'm having a spanking here I don't debate Muslims I spank them and you've been spanked already why you oh, say yeah, why you say Christians. in the name of Allah Ar Rahman Ar Rahim? Do you have an answer? Why you say why you say why you say in the name of Allah Ar Rahman Ar Rahim? Do you have an answer? Here we go. Chapter one in the Quran. Bismillah yeah. Ar Rahman Ar Rahim. Why Allah start the Quran with three names? Who is Allah? Is Who is Ar Rahman? Who is Ar Rahim? He is He is God. He's telling about telling about himself. What's, what's the what his, himself God? is a three or one? He's the he's a gracious God. That is his attribute. He is a that three, or a, he is a three, God or one. I'm not asking you if he's. Listen, Abdul. Listen. Like a gum machine, you have no answer. Why he is quoting for you three names? Can you do you have an answer? Do you have an answer? Doesn't mean that he's ninety nine. Shut up. You are just a talking machine, like a woman breathing it in the delivery room. Your God have 99 names. This is the X3, which means 33, the age of Jesus, X3, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Otherwise, prove me wrong. Why you have 99 names of your God names, 
and why he start with three names. The mic is yours. Yes, 99 why? attributes. Why 99? Why not 100? Each of his attributes. What happened to number 100? What happened? Why, not, why 99? Why 99? According to, your, according to your pagan trinity, there is uh, there are three persons, and each of them is in my your friend. Your you are the pagan. You are the pagan. You kiss a stone. Your prophet you kisses stones. Politics. You are a kiss oh, stone on. kisser. Listen, you listen. Shut up. You are calling to call names. Let us show you guys from the Quran. I muted you because you are not answering. Don't don't hang up. We'll give you the mic back. If we go in the Quran, we will find the following. The false prophet of Islam, the author of the Quran, not all of it, some of it. He said, Say no Trinity. Say no Trinity. In the same verse, he said, Say no Trinity, he confirmed the Trinity. And that is a clear sign of a man who is a false prophet. All right. <clears throat> Let us open the Quran. Don't hang up. Can't speak in the same time. Your people are rude. You don't give time to people to talk. You like to talk over each other. Ya ahlul kitab la tawalu fi dinakum wa la taqulu ala Allahi illa al-haq, etc. Let us go to the translation and laugh together. This is a verse confirming the Trinity and every dumb who is saying the Trinity is rejected in Islam is a stupid Islam based on Trinity when Muhammad he say assalamu alaikum he say three times and I can show you the hadith from Sahih Bukhari when Muhammad he pray he say three times Allahu Akbar three times Alhamdulillah three times Bismillah Rahman Rahim three times everything he do is the three times when a Muslim he clean himself doing a pollution he have to do it three times three times he blew his nose three times he blew his mouth Three times he wiped his hands. Three times he was wiped his feet. Everything is based on three times. Why? Because number three is a perfection number. If you read with me here, you will see how the stupid Muhammad, he got his followers busted by the Trinity. The same verse says, read with me carefully, say not Trinity. The same verse. The same verse says, Trinity is a must. All people of the book, commit no excuse in your religion, nor say Allah ought the truth. Christ Jesus, the son of Mary, was here between two brackets, no, no more than a messenger. But that's fact. That's not, not in the Quran. That's why it says no more than a messenger. However, he is a messenger. So take a note. This is number one. What is Jesus? He is a messenger. And then he is his word. So he is a man. At the same time, he is the word of God. Oh, sorry. You don't see the screen? I apologize. Hold on. All right, let us go from zero. This is Quran. This is Quran, chapter 4, verse number 171. The same verse saying in the Quran, say no Trinity. The same verse saying so no Trinity. The same verse confirmed the Trinity. This is how stupid the Quran author is. Read carefully. It says that Jesus. Christ actually the second the Muslim they say Christ they name Christ they just named him as God do you know what Christ mean <laughs> do you know what Jesus mean <laughs> the founder of Islam is a donkey with certificate go and search right now in Google what the word Jesus mean Yeshua and go and search what the word the Christ mean in in the Greek language and you will see that you Muslims are so stupid when you say Christ is not God because you just call him Christ you idiot just call, you just call him God then we continue he is a messenger and he is the word of God and he is spirit proceeding from God that is a three in one he is the man he is the word of God. He is the spirit of God. Three in one. Yet the stupid author of the Quran says, say no Trinity. I will give you the mic now to answer. Don't scream. Don't shout. I will give you time to answer. I will give you two minutes. All right. If you skip what I showed you in the screen, I will mute you again. I want an answer. How is stupid your prophet to say what he just said, confirming the Trinity? The mic is yours. Now we are listening. Go ahead. Okay, so CB made the argument. CB made the argument that 
according to the Quran, Jesus Christ is God. He is not God. He is the servant of God. And it is clearly mentioned in the Quran that he is the prophet and he is nothing more than the messenger. He wrongly just he's just wrongly assuming the stuff that uh, there are ty there are certain titles given to Jesus like uh, Ruallah or Kalimullah, the word of God or the spirit of God. These are the titles which Jesus bear. The, it doesn't mean that he is God. OK, lots of that. For example, the Abram was given the title of friend of God. It doesn't mean that Muhammad is not the friend of God or Jesus is not the friend of God. These are the friends of God. But God, Allah chose his different titles for for his for his prophets. And I, I don't think there's anything wrong about it. The fact of the matter is that you Christians believe Jesus is 100% God, Holy Spirit is 100% God, and Father is 100% God, and yet there is only one God, and it doesn't make sense. It just it just keeps your religion falling on the ground again and again. All right, my time. Can you uh, stop now? Listen. Okay, you did not answer me about how it is a title, my friend. Are you stupid or what? You just said that your God Allah is is giving Jesus a title and he is not being truthful because when you say he is the word of God that is not a title when you say he is a title. hold on when you say he is the word and the messenger the messenger is a job is not a title you idiot is a job you do the word is who you are a spirit is who you are so Jesus have a job as a messenger and that is the man who deliver a message they call him messenger and he is the word of God who is coming from heaven if I ask you right now according to the Quran where was Jesus before he was born as a word of God can you tell me is the mic open yes where he was as a word of okay. God before he was born so according according to the Quran Jesus mm. was created and he was the messenger of God the messenger have different titles they bear different titles this, this is another question the title of this is another question listen carefully my friend I said you see the verse in front of us says that Jesus is the word of God all right and that word of God is coming from where to where this is the question hello Hello. Hello. Yeah. Yes. I'm listening. So the word of God, which is Jesus, as the Quran yes. confirmed, was where and came to where. Sent from where and arrive where. This is the question. Jesus was created. He was not there before. This is not the question, my friend. Don't repeat yourself. You are an adult. We are not kids. The question okay. is. Okay. The word of God, the Quran confirmed that Jesus is the word of Allah, correct? Yes or no? Do you want to call a friend? I'm talking to you. No, you're not talking. I'm, I can hear you breathing. You're saying nothing. The word of God is Jesus. The Quran says that Jesus yes. is the word of God. Do you agree? It's a title. Uh, this is another question. Is he the word of God or not? He, bear, he bears the title of word of God. My friend, what do you mean title? It's mean he's fake, he's not the word of God, it's okay. a, just a would, title. Would, would, would you let me? Would you, you know what title explain? mean? You know what title mean? Are you stupid or what? Would you let me explain? When you say, you when you say your God is God, is that a title or this is this is a true God? Is it just a would name? Would you let me explain? No, you don't explain. The word of God, the word of I'm God in explain. Islam, I don't like I'm stupidity. Explain. Listen, Abdul, I'm not a kid. I am a scholar, you are a donkey. You know nothing. You don't know even how to oh, read yeah, Quran. Yeah, do you know how to read Quran? Do you know how to read the Quran? Do you know how to read the Quran? Answer me. Yeah. Okay, read for me the, the, the verse I'm reading in Arabic. Okay, show me. But I don't I don't have it in front of the screen, I'm on phone. Oh okay, here we go. This is the verse. Read it for me. I said I'm on the phone, I'm not I don't have screen in front of me. My friend. So what I will do to now. Okay, speak to me in Arabic. Speak to me in Arabic. Wait, let me open my laptop. Speak my speak to me in Arabic uh, because the one who knows how to read Quran, he know Arabic for sure. Speak to me in Arabic. No, I, I cannot speak in Arabic, but, but I can but, but, read but, but, Arabic. So you, why well, you are lying to me? You say you know Quran, you know how to read the Quran. You are a liar. Yeah, I can read the Quran. You cannot read the Quran. You are pronouncing. They put they put in the front of you in your language letters to resemble the Quran. Stop I lying. I cannot speak. I cannot speak Arabic. So Arabic, how in the world, you idiot? You are going Quran. to teach me about your religion when all your religion is based on Arabic. And now let us go back to the topic. We don't change the topic. So we got you busted with that. We're lying about you know how to read Quran. Uh -huh. No.
We go back. We listen, 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 listen. Is the word of Allah title or it is a description for something real? Is it a title or it is description for something real? Would you please let me explain? Would you let me explain? No, I I want you to explain by saying yes or no. We don't want to waste our time. Is the word of God a title or it is something real? Okay, let me explain now. The word of God was a title given to the Jesus because he was the messenger of God who took the word what of is God that and title mean people. what is that how you can be at the word of God as title Muhammad is the word of God every other prophet is the word of God but they I, don't okay know the title. here we go I challenge you to show me one reference in Islam says Muhammad is the word of God okay Abram is the friend of God he, don't he change the topic title. don't change the topic don't change the topic don't change Abram the topic was, don't, don't change yeah, the now topic you're getting busted and now you're don't, the don't, don't change, change the topic, the topic. Coward, potato don't share the topic. Show me how Muhammad is the word of God. You are the one who said that. Everybody heard you. You said Muhammad is the word of God. Show me. Yes, Muhammad is the word of show God. Me a Muhammad reference. is the word of God because show me a reference. He took the of God. Show me a reference, he please. Can you show me a reference? I feel sorry for your wife. I'm asking you, you're a man. You said Muhammad is the word of God. Show me. Yes, okay, every show prophet me. is the word of God. No, 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 don't show me. Okay, show me where it says in the Quran or in the hadith, every prophet is the word of God. Okay, show me, show me from the Bible where does it say that Jesus is God? <laughs> Get lost. Let your mom call me, okay, not your dad. Show me where in the Bible. <laughs> is that how we switch the topic in a, in a second? <laughs> Brother Zitar, the word, the word of God is the title. What, what do you mean the title? <laughs> You give him a, a, a medallion. <laughs> Jesus, I will call you the word of God. Abraham, I will call you my friend. Uh, Muhammad, I will call you Rasulullah. I mean, what is this is stupid religion. What is that? This is a this is a king Hussein is giving titles. I mean, like Lord, I will call you Lord, and you I will call you Marquise, and you I will call you Cardinal. <laughs> He is the word of God who sent down to Mary, you stupid idiot. This is what the Quran said. He was sent to Mary as the word of God. It's not a title. Let us show you from the Quran. Here we go. Actually, in the same verse, it says in Arabic, it says, وَكَلِمَتَهُ أَلْقَاهَا إِلَى مَرْيَمْ And he is his word which he descend down to Mary. So Jesus before he was born in the Quran was the word of God which sent down to Mary. Well, this is confirmed what the Bible says. Your false prophet is stating from the book of John chapter 1, verse 1, and chapter 1 verse 14 he is the word of God who became a man he is the word who sent down from heaven so what was Jesus before he was born he was the word of God if we go right now and search in Google you will find that the Muslim believe that the word of God is not a created actually if a Muslim he believed that the word of God is created they will kill him immediately immediately this is how faith is religion is so he is the word of God which sent down to Mary. Do you see it? And his word which conveyed into Mary. This is false translation, by the way. It says send down, the send down to Mary. And this is why Jesus in the Bible said, Before Abraham I am. That is not a title to be I am. Our God in the Bible, all over, he says, I am. When God spoke to Moses, Moses asked him, Who are you? He said, Go and tell your people, I am. I am who I am. Which means the one, the only God who exists by himself. The word of God, Jesus, is the power of God. It's not a title. It is the authority. How God, how we know God? By his word. How we are exist? By his word. Even the Quran, the stupid author of the Quran, Muhammad, said that if God wants something to be, he say be which means without be, nothing to be. However, we cannot find one thing in the Quran created by be. And the stupid Muhammad, he said that the similarity between Isa and Adam is the same. Allah, if he wants, he says to them be, and he was. But Adam was not created by saying be. 
if we go in the Quran, we will find that Allah created Adam by making mud. He mixed dust and water, making mud, and then he fashioned it, and then he breathed into it, and then took him time to finish. Even the Quran said, وَكَانَ الْإِنسَانُ وَعَجُولَ Look how stupid Muhammad is. The story about Ajula, that when Allah created Adam, or he was in the process of creating Adam, he asked Allah to finish him before the sunset. Have you ever heard of such a God like this? Chapter 17, verse number 11. According to Ibn Kathir and Al-Tabari, Al-Qurtubi, and many interpretation, that when Allah was creating Adam, Adam, he opened his eyes, but yet he is not finished yet. And he spoke to Allah and he said to Allah, finish me before the sun set. What kind of insan Yeah, Allah, finish me before the sun set. And you know, uh, uh, the, the, the question I asked myself when I first time I read this long time ago, I was a kid, you know, uh, when Adam he said to Allah, finish me before the sun set. I mean, don't don't Muslims ask themselves how Adam he is just not even created yet, but yet he knew that the sunset is coming. <laughs> how he knew <laughs> he's just he's just in the process of a creation. I mean, this guy he never saw sun yet, he never saw the sunset, he never saw the sunrise, he never saw anything, and he is telling Allah to finish me before the sunset. <laughs> Oh, my friend, stupidity is a, is a certificate in Islam. You see, you remember the, the, the scholar I debated just two days ago, the guy from Al-Azhar University? Those Abduls, they are asking, where is his degree? Where is his, you know, because they, they feel humiliated. You know, they got a PhD guy from Al-Azhar University. So what if he have a PhD? All of you, you cannot answer. Islam is a stupid religion. It doesn't matter how big you are, how small. I take you all. I like to have a snack. You see, for me, it is 2 a.m. in the morning, but doesn't hurt me to take a snack in the morning. We always approve Islam to be stupid using Islamic books, and this is the best way to do it. And this is how I do it. Because if you waste your time, start quoting for them from the Bible from now until tomorrow. You got nothing because he is not listening. Are you guys getting my point? So learn how to spank the devil. Jesus is the word of God. Jesus now in heaven, but God is one. So why Allah in heaven? Why Allah and Jesus are like the, what, what they are doing together now watching TV? Everybody die except Jesus, brother. Why? Because Jesus is a prophet of God. <laughs> okay, everybody have a brother, uh, have a father except Jesus. No, no brother. Adam don't have a father. My, my friend, Adam is not born. How he will have a father? Are you stupid or what? <laughs> Why only Jesus have no father? You cannot tell me Adam because Adam is not born. Don't be stupid. Why Shaitan cannot touch Adam, Jesus? Why, what is the point of Mary have no partner? I mean, what, what is going to hurt Jesus if he, if he is just a prophet to have a father like everybody? Will Abraham have a father? Muhammad have a father? We don't know who is he. Mostly it's waraka, but it doesn't matter. Why Jesus do not need to have a father? What the point? My mother, she can be, she can claim that she gave birth to me and she was a virgin. Uh huh. You know what I'm saying, guys? This miracle have to have a reason. In Islam, that reason is not exist. It's stupid. But because Muhammad is a thief, he copied from the Christians, trying to deceive the Christian to tell him, "I believe in what you believe." And when Muhammad he give up and he noticed that he is a stupid and nobody will believe him anyway. Muhammad he come with this verse in the Quran, which I find it the most funny, hilarious chapter in the Quran, additional to all the chapters, which is funny and stupid. Uh, if we go here. <clears throat> 
It does go hold on. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, hold on, hold on. What happened here? Okay. Stupidity is education. Here we go. If we go in this chapter in the Quran, we will find Muhammad giving up and Muhammad being stupid again. Say to those who reject faith, who, 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 who reject faith. Okay. I mean, how, how a prophet here, he, he give up that fast. Allah himself is giving up because the one is talking here is Allah. I worship not what you worship, nor you worship that I worship, I worship, and I will not worship you to have been with worship, and nor you will worship what I worship, and you have your religion, I have mine. I mean, look, this is the most stupid statement ever. That's it? Allah give up? If we change the word worship, and we make it as I eat not what you eat, look how funny the verse will be. Oh, who you reject my food, I eat not what you eat, and I will never eat what you eat. And you will never do eat what I eat, and I will never do eat ever eat what you eat because you will never do eat what I eat, and I don't eat what you eat for I am my food, you have yours. Thank you very much. I mean, this is religion, this is God, this is God talking, this is the wisdom of God. Are you serious? Obviously, your God, he was eating too much hummus, my friend, when he made this verse. Hmm? A Muslim was saying in the text the christian prince is scared i'm so terrified my friend i take the biggest ones and they run away from me who are you kid huh who are you you see when i debated the head of the islamic center hisham al husseini you know hisham al husseini do you know what the muslim says in the text we paid him money this guy is the head of the islamic center in michigan and he is the head of the Shia of all the state. And he was interviewed by Fox News more than five times. And I paid him money to make Islam look stupid. Do you see how rich I am? <laughs> Guys, don't forget to make a donation before the, we finish because we need to pay more Muslims. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me, if Muhammad was exist and I debate him, the Muslim, they will accuse Muhammad that he got paid by me. I mean, all of them, they are corrupt. This is how they are. They accuse everybody to be paid. Unbelievable. Anyway, uh, guys, don't forget, if you do not get your copies of my books, the new book, Six and Allah, it is already in Amazon. Uh, actually, a lot of people uh, getting their copies. So if you like to get your own, feel free. And uh, at the same time, uh, I'm working right now. You see, I have a book. It's called The Root of the Quran. But this book is very complicated, giving me a lot of headache because, uh, you know, it's it's a, it, the topic is complicated. So it's going to take a long time with me. So in time between, I take a break and I make, uh, like, uh, let's say, mm, easier topic. So right now, I'm writing a book. I'm not going to say the title for now. It's going to be a surprise for the Muslims, and the Muslims would love it. Uh, but just to make it simple, it's going to be about Paul and the Apostles. Uh, this book will be very nice, very good for people to read, because you can get any Abdul busted. Anyone. It doesn't matter how big, how fat, how skinny he is. From that book, when he speaks against Paul and the Apostles of Jesus making false accusation against them. The devil, my friend, he have his ways. And he come to you from the window, which is open in your house. Some people, their window is money. Some people, their window is, uh, you know, uh, prostitution, sex. Um, everybody, he have, you know, weakness. And, and the devil, he come from your weakness. And Islam is a weakness. A person who is religious. How we can convince him of an idea of the devil? We have to come to him in a religious uniform. 
and this is exactly what the Bible warned us about. He said, be aware of false prophets. Those false prophets, false teachers, they come to you in a clothes of sheep, but they are wolves. You know, how in the world somebody like Paul, anyone can accuse him of anything? This guy, this amazing person, he never take wages for his service. He been tortured, he been killed. He paid the price. He left he left an amazing life he have. He was a leader, not a loser. And I'm talking about him as a leader when he was a Romanian citizen, not as a person who is following Jesus. When you follow Jesus, as what happened to all the apostles of Christ, they got nothing from that except torture and being killed and humiliated wherever they go. They did not make wealth. They did not generate money. They did not live in palaces. Not like Muhammad, who made chapter says, whoever want to come to me, he have to pay me before he consult with me. Bring, bring your money before you come to the Prophet. And he claimed that Allah, he said that to him. Actually, even the Quran confirmed that the apostle of Jesus, they never took money. And you will see that in the in the in my coming book. Here we see in the front of us, chapter 50, 58, verse number 12, where Muhammad making it clear that before you come to me, I am Muhammad. Allah told me. You see, Allah told me. I mean, I'm not I'm not trying to get money from you. No, <laughs> I don't want money. <laughs> you know, don't get me wrong. But Allah, this is the wish of Allah, what I can do. So, oh, you believe when you consult the messenger in private, spend, spend some charity. I mean, come on, Christian Prince. Is the, okay? You want to call him, ask him a question, pay something. This is Muhammad. You see, one of the Muslims he made a statement in the text in the previous video saying, "Oh, Christian Prince is promoting his book. What's wrong with my book to promote my friend? This is my this is my work. Do you know how many years I spent in my life studying and my eyes hurt? What's wrong with promoting my book? Is that a theft? Is that a scam?" Am I claiming to be a prophet? Before you talk to me, you have to pay me. I spend hours and hours with people for free. Totally for free. So imagine the hypocrisy of this religion. They have a prophet. Not only he ordered them to give him money, even to give him women. According to the Muslim books, it says that if the prophet, his eyes fall into a woman, her husband must divorce her immediately. So the prophet, he can have her. This is who is your prophet. And that is the truth. A followers of a child molester, they want to give you speeches about morality and about dignity and about God and about the oneness of God. You Muslims don't believe in the oneness of God. That's false because how you say you believe in Tawheed, you know what Tawheed mean? Tawheed mean unification. Tawheed does not mean oneness. Tawheed al dual al Arabiya to unify the Arabian states, as simple as that. Tawheed is not oneness. This is how silly they are. Even the verse we're speaking about, the Muslim, they, they keep quoting it for us. It says, Qul Allahu Samad. That, that chapter confirmed that Allah is not one. And this is why the Muslims, they are confused about what the verse means. <laughs> If you read the interpretation of, of, <laughs> of this silly chapter, you will find that every Muslim give you different interpretation. You see, guys, in the translation, it says, say he is Allah, the one and the only. False, it doesn't say that. It says in Arabic, قُلْ هُوَ اللَّهُ أَحَد. Ahad in Arabic mean one off. Ahad never come as one. Never. You can type the, one, the same word in the Quran right now and you will see nowhere in the Quran, even the Muslim translate the word Ahad as one. They translate it as one off. Actually, we can do that right now. Just for the sake of education. <clears throat> Let me type the word Ahad. And this is coming from Muhammad is stealing from the Hebrew. He said, say, O Israel, your Lord is Ahad. Echad is not one. Is not one 
as one person uh, like you know it's a it is a unification it's a plural name that's why the Bible says in the Old Testament and the New Testament the man and the wife they will leave their parents and they will become a chad one as a chad as ahad which means they will become united unification so if we type the word ahad in the front of us <clears throat> you will see all the Quran here we go let us go. I want to show you only ahad. Let us go exactly search engine ahad. All right, read with me. What does that mean? And they will not teach anyone, anyone, which means one off. Read carefully. Translation they teach not anyone. You see it. This is what I had mean. Do you see it? All over the Quran, the word I had. Not even once is coming as one. It's a big fat lie. Wala nufarriqu bayna ahad minhum. We never differentiate between any one of them. Which is proven to be false because the Quran says in different verse, he differentiate. All right. We we make no differences between any one and another of them. This is what I had mean. One and the others. Do you see it? It's all over. It is a stupid religion. <clears throat> Have no base. Copy paste. And the Muslims are disconnect with their God, with their religion, with the stupidity of their prophet. لا نفرق بين أحد من رسله أحد. What does Ahad mean? Let us see. Chapter 2, verse number 285. All over the Quran, the word Ahad, making it clear between one and the other. Do you see it? So, how Allah is one and He's Ahad? How He can? That's impossible. Anyway, you see, I wasn't planning to talk about Islam right now. I was talking about, you know, I want to talk about uh, what's happening in Jordan. But this guy, he made us go there. It doesn't hurt anyway. I think he got nice spanking and he will remember me for a long time. The same as the, 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 the Muslims who debate me always, they will remember me for a long time and they will see me in their dreams. Uh, <clears throat> uh, anyway, uh, again, guys, if you, uh, if you are interested to read my books, the new books, the one I was telling you about is going to be out. It's already out. You can go to Amazon.com search for name, my name and you will find all the list of my new books and the book it's called Allah and sex or you know uh, uh, sex and Allah uh, simply is let us say it's a box of reference about sexuality in Islam it's a disaster actually there is things we don't talk about it here because sometimes like you know it's not suitable to speak such a language uh, but I, I did my best not to speak dirty there I'm just translating I never speak dirty I don't speak dirty you know this is not my uh, uh, my way of life but I have to translate and I have to say things as it is so when you go and you read the books very number one and very number two you will see how filthy disgusting this cult this is a hippie dippy religion have nothing to do with dignity have nothing to do with holiness have nothing to do everything in this religion is based on sexuality you see all those muslims they believe in allah for what reason because they want to go to heaven to have sex and money and food you see the promise of a person to you the gift of a person to you let's say you have a you have a birthday hmm? and for me myself I never really I don't celebrate birthday I don't believe in those things but let us say you invited your friends and you celebrate birthday nothing wrong with that I mean be happy who care and everyone he brought to you a gift <clears throat> the gift of the person speak of who he is do we agree if a person he bring you a book that's mean he's this person he loves books he loves to read and then the second question would be what kind of book it is is the book about something good 
morality something teaching you wisdom or a stupid book or maybe fiction or love or you know or maybe uh, sexuality like uh, you know to, uh, to get you excited and get horny what what kind of book other person give you a videotape about God about why the world is exist and he is the creator other person he give you a videotape it's about porn Every gift is speak about about the gifter, the one who gave the gift. Do you understand me? My gift to you speak of my personality. Guys, are we are we do we understand what I'm saying? If I am Allah and I promise you women, private part, legs, asses, the women else will be one mile, the vagina will be etc., the penis will be endless. I mean, what kind of God this God is? You know what I mean? The promises is speaking of the one who make the promise. The gift speaking of the nature of the gifter, the one who is giving the gift. And the one who get excited with the gift speaking of the nature of the one who received the gift too. Because if you are a good person, you will not accept a bad gift. Right? Islam can be summarized by the gift what I will get if I convert to Islam and this is what my book is about uh, late later we will make the a book you know uh, for sure we will make a book no problem <clears throat> but for now it's in pay it's a cheap anyway I mean uh, why you don't get a book it's better than the ebook it's better uh, always always uh, we need to remember that why I, need, I always I ask myself me as an Arab who grow in the Middle East everything around me saying Allah is the God Muhammad is a prophet I mean everything you go in the bathroom to do it even even in the bathroom you hear that they will, not, they will not let you sleep you open the TV they are speaking about the amazing prophet you open the radio Amazing prophet you go to school the amazing prophet wherever you go in the amazing prophet Then what is going to make me stay as a Christian The answer is very simple. I never saw filthy cult as much as Islam. I never saw a hate for religion teach hate and violence as Islam They try to give you a shiny image of this cult but it doesn't matter how much you're trying to you shine the rust. It's a it's a rusty cult. The rust ate it all. There's nothing to shine. My friend, if you uh, I think if you go to Amazon India, uh, maybe by now it's already there. You know, try to go, try to go to Amazon India, my friend. And try to find to search for Christian Prince books. Let me see. Hold on. Amazon India. Let me see. Because always when you publish in the beginning, it published in Amazon.com. Amazon. Amazon. Let's see. Well, already I see many of my books already there, but I don't see the rest. I don't know why. Uh, maybe it take time. I'm not sure. In Amazon India. Yeah, usually it take a little bit of time to arrive there. I mean, to be published there. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, yeah, no, I'm not showing you on the screen. Anyway, it's okay. Yeah, it's not available. I understand. Uh, I will try to make it soon in Kindle, so you guys, those who they are in India, they can read it. Anyway, do we? Uh, uh, yeah, or oh, it's in sale already. It's in sale in uh, Europe in uh, dot com, etc. Yeah, it is. Um, <clears throat> and you know, 
uh, once a person he said to me why you don't give your books for free I mean my friend I give everything for free everything I stay here with you for hours and hours and hours I never complain I lose my voice right and who is going to support what we do I mean you you don't you, you get nothing for free around you I have somebody have to pay for my gas somebody have to pay for my food somebody so uh, uh, people they always want things for free it doesn't matter what you do I will be happy to do so if everything around me is for free too right uh, how old when where you were start from this I don't know what do you mean but I was a troublemaker since I was a kid I was a troublemaker to Islam since I was a kid from the beginning of my life I believe this religion is stupid it's very funny and um, and this is why I decided to study Islamic law you know I it was my decision to study Islamic law and by the way and you know I my, my study in Islamic law have nothing to do with my knowledge and they don't teach you anything it's just stupid schools or what they teach you how amazing Allah is and how amazing the Prophet and that there is books it's called Usul al Fiqh etc but it's stupid there's nothing really to learn you know they will never speak this is number one never speak about something negative never take a serious question as long as the question is silly stupid it's welcome brother what is the rules of shaving under arms? I mean, what? Who in the world who care for shaving under arms? <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, you see, I don't like to talk about myself. I'm a person like everybody. I am. I don't claim even to be a good person as better than anyone. Maybe I'm sinner more more than you. Um, I don't like to speak about myself because I'm not the I'm not the topic, my friend. But the the, the what I like to say to you. I could not find a better person than Jesus to follow. I am not a person to be an example to anyone. The Bible says only God is good. All of us, we are sinners. The Bible confirmed that the one who trusts a man, the flesh, is a fool. Don't trust a man. Don't trust a person. All of us, we sin. And I am a sinner. And we as a Christian, when we confess our sin, we are not proud of it, but we are truthful. It's not about being proud of your sin. No, absolutely not. You confess your sin for you are a follower of the true Lord. We don't believe that confessing your sin is uh, like will make you like, uh, okay, this guy, it's not about being humble. It's not, no, it's about being truthful. In Islam, this cult we showed you just to go and watch the the not the last video the one before it how a muslim he have no problem that allah said if you muhammad said if you touch a black stone your sin is forgiven what the heck touch a black stone my sin is forgiven this is garbage my sin will be forgiven just because i touch a black stone so I, all the year i go and do all the filth in the world and then i go and touch a stone and kiss it That is not from God. Even Muhammad, he received verses in the Quran to give him a license for a future sin and for past sin. You see, the Muslim, they say to you, oh, in certain time, the church used to give a license document for people who they are rich if they pay money. Let us say this is true, and I could not find really any proof of it. It was Islam, my friend. Islam who created such a rule ليغفر لك الله ما تقدم من ذنبك وما تأخر what does that mean chapter 48 verse number 2 Allah may forgive Muhammad for the past and the coming sin as simple as that do you see it open license for sin the Muslim they say oh this is about faults what fault Muhammad don't have sin <laughs> uh, let me show you on the screen Muhammad don't have sin right yeah you see they, they say he is a they say he is a holy prophet and here by the way you will notice something very funny about Muhammad and his uh, claimed God this God is not even sure that Muhammad 
uh, you know if he will be forgiven or not that that Allah may forgive thee what who's talking you see the author the author who in this case Muhammad he's making verses and he forget to switch switch the microphone that Allah may forgive thee do you think that God is saying that that Allah may forgive thee Allah saying that may Allah forgive thee and why me and why Allah it doesn't make sense simply the author always in the Quran forget to switch the microphone between him and what is called God open license for sin what forgive thee for the sin which to in the past and which to come what is that a sin in the past and sin to come you know guys let me show you something stupid the Muslim they keep repeating for you hold on just to give you an example I wasn't planning really to stay here for long but it's fun to speak to Muslims I, I love them I love them look what this guy he said to us <clears throat> Anyone notice how stupid what he just said? Who notice? He just proved to us Islam is a false religion. Anyone knows why? Who want to give the guy, the Abdul here, the answer based on what, what you learn from me? Do you notice that he just got Islam busted? Anyone knows why? Why? He is saying if Jesus is God, then how he die? But in Islam, he did not die. So he is a god in your religion, you idiot. <laughs> in the stupid cult of Islam, Jesus never died. He is alive. So you are trying to prove to us that Jesus is not God. Okay, you won. Against the Christians, you lost against Islam. So your prophet is a liar. Because how Jesus is not God, but he don't die. And you are telling me one day I will find a smart Abdul. Keep it dreaming. They are out of stocks since the beginning of time. If Jesus, the, if Jesus is God, you know, remember once I was in the Philippines and there's two Egyptian guys. They sit with me. We are having like a dinner. They are Muslims both. And they knew I'm Christian. But this guy, he have no idea. He's talking to who. He do not know I'm Christian prince. You know, they don't know me by. So, and when they see a Christian, Arab Christians, they got like so excited to debate you. And then the Egyptian guy, he said, how Jesus is son of God and his father allowed him to be humiliated. Hmm? The other guy is older. He told him, don't go there. You don't know this guy. This guy, he spoke to me before. He told him, don't go there. And he started hitting him with his shoe under the table. Uh, I said, it's okay, it's okay. So I said, okay, so you are saying that if Jesus is son of God, there's no way. Yes, it is. Uh, he said, yes. There's no way if he's son of God that his father will let him be humiliated and get killed. I said, okay, wonderful. But based on your logic, that means Jesus is a son of God in Islam. He said, how? He said, you just said, if his father is Jesus, his God, the father is, the, the God is his father, he, there is no way we'll let him to be humiliated and die. And this is exactly what happened in Islam. So the other guy, the old guy, he told him in the Egyptian way, I told you, I told you don't go there. I told you, why you don't listen? <laughs> What a stupid cult. My friend, your God is dead already. All the verses in the Quran, they keep asking Muhammad for one miracle. He could not bring one. Do you know why? Because your God is dead. It's not allowed. It's not even exist. And your prophet is dead. And Jesus is alive, even in the cult of Islam. How you can resist that? We are the followers of the living Jesus. And you are follower of the bewitched prophet. Have you ever heard of a nation follow a bewitched man? And they and their books they say he was bewitched. How was the bewitched prophet is doing? 
this is how we do it anyway thank you guys for being here may the Lord bless you I hope we cover the issue about Jordan so I believe if the Israeli and the American did not reach a deal with the Jordanian government to save this government from collapsing and I'm talking about the government I mean the king you know I don't mean the government there's no government there this is just a fake image the government there in this country uh, as all Middle Eastern countries you know the government is like an image to protect it's a front line to protect the royal family or the ruler ruling family so we will see what will happen but if the american and the israeli did not save the ass of the king of jordan who is very corrupt simply that explained because he is descended from the prophet muhammad uh, mostly he will not finish his year as a king so I don't want to, you know, uh, I'm not sure if today uh, 4.30 I will be here, but I will try my best. You see, my time is kind of, uh, because I'm working my book too. And uh, uh, I have a I have a trip to go after a few weeks from now. So I'm trying to finish this book before I go on my trip and we publish it. However, I will try my best to do, to be in 4.30 today. However, if not today, then let us say tomorrow. God is willing, correct? So thank you guys for being here. May the Lord bless you. And uh, Mr. Saud Hassan, as you said, your God died. My God never. My Jesus, my Jesus is alive. My Lord is alive. The man died, my friend. God never died, for God is not a man. Our God is not a man. Our Lord came to us in the flesh of a man, but he don't die. He is a living God this is why Jesus said every two of you mention me I will be between them which means he will be the third this is why Jesus said I will look I will go and I will stay with you how Jesus can stay with us this is why Jesus said before Abraham I am that's mean before he is or become a man in the image of a man he was exist and you Muslims you have in the Quran where it says that Allah he sent his spirit Holy Spirit a Ruh al Qudus to marry and appear as a perfect man. So, are you saying the Ruh al Qudus was not exist before it became a man? That's really stupid of you to say. With this, I want to say thank you. May the Lord bless you all. Christ is Lord and He is the best of the best. And this is my challenge. Find me better and I will follow and keep dreaming. Thank you and see you soon again. And I say good day and good night to everybody. Bye-bye. Thanks.